Welcome to Inside Carbondale. This is the podcast that brings you the latest information about projects and events going on in Carbondale. I'm Amy Fox, the city's public relations officer, and I'm joined by Cinnamon Smith, the executive director for Carbondale Tourism. And today we're talking about the solar eclipse, which will reach its greatest point of totality just south of Carbondale on August 21st. So with just five months to go, it's a race to the finish. And with thousands expected for this event, Cinnamon, um, a lot of people ask me, what are we going to do with all these people, um, if they even show up to? Um, so let's start with accommodations. What options will be available for visitors? So right now, we still do have some hotel rooms available in Carbondale. Um, there has been no final uh, approval made for camping inside the city limits, so we're not sure if we're going to have actual outdoor camping. I know that SIU has opened up their student rec center to offer camping inside the building. So for those that are looking for a, a camping option or something that maybe is, is more um, appropriate for their budget, then you might want to check out the SIU rec center. Um, for those lodging accommodations that are still open, we encourage everyone to come visit the Carbondale Eclipse website, uh, www.carbondaleeclipse.com. We're maintaining um, updates weekly on what lodging accommodations are still available. And once they've found a place to stay, how are they going to navigate around town? Because I've heard different numbers as far as how many people we're expecting. So right now we have three parking um, options available with a fourth if we should need it. Um, those locations are um, placed around town and we'll be offering shuttling service from the parking lots to the city hall in the uh, downtown area. From there, people can walk back and forth to our marketplace um, where we'll have live entertainment from 11 to 7 each day. And then they can also find themselves um, to some of our other uh, entertainment venues, whether it be our businesses that are offering evening uh, music or to our retail facilities. So obviously there's going to be a lot of activities going on in town before August 21st when the eclipse actually happens. Um, and these are differing from family activities to people who are into music and arts and crafts. So you're really trying to reach out to everyone. Right. We really want this to be a family fun event, something for everyone. So if you are not um, or don't consider yourself to be a, a gung-ho scientist, then that's okay. We still want to encourage you to come to Carbondale and enjoy all of the other activities that we have planned surrounding this weekend of events. And I know you mentioned the marketplace. Tell me a little bit more about that and how maybe people can get signed up to set up a booth. So the marketplace um, is an area where we can hold up to 30 vendors. It's located at um, 518 South University Avenue. This is the location for First Mid-Illinois Bank. And we're hoping that uh, vendors who are looking to uh, provide a service of selling food, crafts, um, anything that, that they can imagine, even if it's just entertainment tip or inter information, typically that's what Carbondale Tourism does is we just provide information about our community at a um, location like this, then everyone is welcome to sign up. Um, that application is located on our website. Again, that's carbondaleclips.com. And you can find that in the contact us section, how to do more and be more involved. And is there a deadline for that? We're asking that all vendors um, apply by April 30th. It is a first come first serve situation. And again, we just have 30 locations available. So um, we have already distributed 20 applications. So we're assuming that um, those people are um, making decisions on what they plan to offer as their services and they'll be submitting their application soon. And in addition to this marketplace, there's also a great need for volunteers. How can people or groups get involved with this? Also on the website, we have a sign-up form. So if you are looking to get more involved and you want to volunteer for the weekend, um, please fill out the form in the contact us and we'll get in touch with you. We have a volunteer coordinator, Diane Hood. Um, she's almost a local celebrity amongst nonprofits who are looking to raise money and organize large numbers of volunteers. And she has agreed to assist us with organizing um, all the volunteers that we'll need for the Eclipse Weekend. If you have more questions, we encourage you to also call Carbondale Tourism. That number is 618-529-4451. And we can um, take information and answer questions for you as well. 
And obviously, we've been talking about the eclipse for a long time now. But this event, it's really hard to predict how many people are going to be coming to southern Illinois and Carbondale. Um, but in your office, do you get calls from people all over the country inquiring about the eclipse? We've actually had calls from all over the world. Um, people wanting to know when they can book rooms, what rooms are available. Um, a lot of our calls now originate with what activities are you offering in order to determine if this is the location that they want to come. One of the unique parts of the Great American Eclipse, as it's being called, is that it covers the entire United States. It's the first time that this has happened since 1979. Um, and so there are a lot of opportunities for people to get to a destination with the eclipse, but we definitely want people to consider coming to Carbondale. We are um, unique in the fact that we are at the point of greatest duration, um, and then we will also have another eclipse in seven years. So no one else along the eclipse path will be able to um, have that distinction. And so it really puts us um, above everyone else when you're trying to select a destination to view the eclipse. And what are you hoping the reaction is from people who maybe have never been to Carbondale before, never even heard of it before? Our goal in this entire planning process is that people see Carbondale and the Southern Illinois area as um, a destination f that they will want to visit time and time again. We also hope that it's a destination where people can see um, the fantastic area that we have and maybe they want to relocate here or expand or start a business in our um, community. So this is really an exciting opportunity for people to come see Southern Illinois and really put Southern Illinois on people's radars. It is, it is. This is something that um, a lot of communities wish for and we have been very lucky to get handed this opportunity. So we don't want to um, let the opportunity go where we don't have um, the ability to market and uh, promote our area as the fantastic destination that it is. And I know you probably get a lot of questions on a routine basis, but what's kind of the most popular question that you get time and time again related to the eclipse, of course? Um, I would say it is right now, um, what are we doing for the eclipse? What kind of activities are we offering as people are trying to make their decision on the destination that they want to go to? Because there are several across the United States that they can pick from. Um, there's the question of why should I pick Carbondale amongst all the others? And, and like we said, um, in addition to the activities that we are planning and the fantastic um, amenities that Carbondale and Southern Illinois already offer as a tourism destination, this is an opportunity where people can come and look at a location where they might want to relocate or expand and start a new business. So we really wanna make sure that we're putting our best foot forward and um, showcasing our area. And everyone who attends the eclipse must have eclipse glasses. Yes, the eclipse glasses are key. Um, they're the, the one piece that can help you see the, the eclipse without hurting your eyes. And we want to make sure that no one leaves here with any um, damages. So we do have um, a lot of eclipse glasses available. You can pick those up at the Carbondale Tourism Office. We're happy to mail those to you. Um, so please give us a call. There are other businesses in town that also have eclipse glasses right now. And so um, please visit our website and you can find out all of the locations where those can be purchased. And in addition to the eclipse glasses, there's also a lot of different t-shirts and souvenir items you can get before you even come to Carbondale. Yes, a lot of our local retailers are already um, filling their stores with souvenirs, t-shirts, uh, cups, koozies, other memorabilia. And we want to make sure that, that people do come here and they feel like they can buy something that will assist them in remembering um, the fantastic event that they witnessed while they were visiting Carbondale. And are you hoping to get a glimpse of the eclipse? I know you'll be running around and making sure everything goes on without a hitch. I will definitely be stopped um, for all work process for the two minutes and 38 seconds that the um, eclipse is occurring in Carbondale. I, I believe that all of our community and anyone in it will also feel the need to stop for those two minutes and 38 seconds and view this um, fantastic event. Perfect. And once again, the website that people can go to. It's www.carbondaleeclipse.com. All right. Thanks so much, Cinnamon. And we hope you'll join us next time for another episode of Inside Carbondale. Have a great day. 
you have feedback or have ideas for future podcasts, feel free to email me at afox at explorecarbondale.com. 